relationships are really hard. Um, yes. Under yes. A virgin. And I think it gives you, I guess, forgiveness, acceptance. It Otherwise, I think in general, we tend to overanalyze situations and yeah. try to figure out everything about them and try to figure out what we could have done wrong to like the tiniest detail. And so I think it gives me a little of perspective, a little perspective in terms of, yeah, well, this is something that's going to be hard for me. And, but I know that it's going to be hard for me and I shouldn't try to, it's called masking when we try to behave the way that people expect us to behave. Yes. And so I shouldn't, at least in real friendships and real relationships and with anybody that matters, I don't really try to mask anymore because it's exhausting. Because I was still having a lot of money issues. Mm. That's the thing with bipolar two is that you have um, issues with uh, not only overspending, yeah. but it can be uh, if you're gambling and you, you keep gambling, you keep gambling and you know, you want to go to gamblers anonymous, but you just, you're like, uh, don't want to talk to anybody. Don't feel like it. You should get checked by a psychiatrist or psychologist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's, it could be not saying that it would, but it could be bipolar. Um, with me in the case is like I said, I was spending like crazy. That's buy, I would never see, I would never think that that would be a sign of bipolar disorder. I, I, wouldn't didn't, I didn't either. I didn't yeah. know that it was until, uh, I talked to the psychiatrist, psychiatrist by my book on the state of grace shop.com. If you are going through a breakup and it, this book is a humorous guide to deal with the breakup aftermath. Stateofgraceshop.com. You can get it there and it's gonna help. I know that the people that bought it, they're like thanking me and sending me emails like, oh my God, it helped me so much. <music>